Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Dawn and welcome back to my channel. I really wanted to share something cool with you guys today. I thought it'd be really interesting for you to get a kind of behind the scenes look at what I do when I am doing a distance Reiki healing session. So what this means is that my client is actually not physically with me or able to be with me. They could be in another state. Um, they could be anywhere in the world actually. Um, and I wanted to explain what that looks like, what Reiki is and how this all works. So if this is something that seems really interesting to you, please like and subscribe. And as I'm going and explaining, please throw in some questions and comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. So for those that uh, don't know who I am, my name is Ashley Dawn. I am a Reiki master, a medium, a light worker, an author, a massage therapist. Basically, I have spent um, my entire adult life, over 20 years now, working with people and helping them to heal along their healing journey. And so Reiki is um, a type of energy work. So when I say energy work, that is like an umbrella term for a ton of different modalities like healing touch and cranial sacral therapy. There's a ton of different ones out there. Reiki just happens to be my favorite and one that um, really resonates with me in my heart and I seem to do my best work when I'm doing Reiki. So Reiki means universal energy, and it actually comes from Japan, and it was discovered by a uh, man called Dr. Yusi. Um, and he, um, in fact, actually, I'm a fifth generation down from Dr. Yusi himself, and um, his teachings were all basically about um, healing and using energy work to do so and heal the body mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So Reiki or any type of energy work is all about healing, no matter what type of healing that it is you need. So let's now talk just really briefly about energy work and healing in general. This does include Reiki. So I want you to imagine a human cell. So we're gonna talk about a little bit of physics and a little bit of anatomy just for like two seconds so I can explain energy work. So a human cell, inside of that human cell, there is a nucleus that's kind of the brains of the operation of the cell. Inside the nucleus, there's an atom. Atoms have electrons, neutrons, and protons. And the electrons spin rapidly around the neutrons and protons, but individually, they are really just um, grids of energy and light. So that is kind of anatomy, where anatomy meets kind of physics, right? Because at our core and our smallest, smallest ingredients that make up a human body, we are energy. And when I say energy, I mean light, frequency, vibration, right? And please do your work and, and research and look up more detailed information. There is plenty of information out there on energy work, how it works. There is factual research, empirical evidence based on how frequency works with the human body and how we can actually send a particular vibration or healing energy from anywhere in the world to help somebody along their healing journey. So as far as Reiki goes, um, how I do a Reiki distance healing session is um, when my client sets up the appointment, before I actually call them, I will set up something similar to this, right? So this is the chakras. This should be um, something that most of you probably recognize, right? And the chakras is a Roy G. Biv kind of rainbow color representing specific locations on the body's midline, uh, main seven chakras, um, where these energy centers seem to be a little bit louder and therefore give off more energy or for me, more information. So since I don't have this person in front of me, I find it helpful. And I, so I use these stones as if they're little tools and they help to give me a better idea of what's going on with this person and where they're blocking blockages are within the chakras and how I need to move the energy to eventually create a balanced state within their chakras. So let me kind of explain my little setup here. I have this stone here. Um, and again, there's nothing magical about me. There's nothing magical about these stones. These stones specifically have a steady energy to them, a stable energy. These are also made up. Everything in the universe is made up of frequency, right? So these also have a frequency as well. This is why light workers enjoy working with with things like stones and nature because oftentimes it works in harmony with our vibration but actually provides a lot of stability. So I like this chunky one here. Um, I usually will set that down at someone's feet. So this kind of represents their groundedness to the earth. And then starting at the root chakra, which is located kind of in that uh, groin area with the color red. And then we have our sacral chakra, the um, 
a solar plexus chakra, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. So I use my beautiful big amethyst stone for the crown chakra. Now there is many, many other chakras. And although this um, is kind of laid out for the torso, and how chakras work. Also note that chakras kind of go like through the body. Um, so we might say heart or throat chakra, but it doesn't mean that they're just on the front here. This is energy, right? So it flows through and in and around everything. Um, okay, so before I call my client, um, I will kind of set this up and I will run my hands over and I'm pretending as if, uh, in a sense, that this is their energy. So I will sit with my guides, my spirit guides, my angels and things like that, and I will ask them to help me tune into that person's frequency and really um, get an idea of what they need healing on and, and kind of what's going on. Another valuable tool that I have, which is an excellent visible aid for me, a little visible tool, is a pendulum, okay? Again, there's nothing crazy and magical about this. It is simply a tool to help me uh, see really what's going on. So although I may run my hand over because I can really feel energy, um, this is also another visual tool. So I can actually hold my pendulum over and depending on what my pendulum does, um, it will swing in particular ways. It will go clockwise, counterclockwise, left and right, up and down at angles or still points. And that lets me know where the blockages are within each chakra and again what I need to maybe focus on. Now during this entire time, I'm not on the phone yet, right? During this entire time I will write down notes. Whether you are in a personal session with me one-on-one -on -one or at a distance, I write now notes all the time. So those of you that have had a session with me know I usually write down notes. And then, um, so now that I have a good idea, I have my notes, when the appointment time is, I will actually then call my client and kind of go over my findings and then ask them what they really wanna get out of this session. What are they looking for? What kind of uh, grounding, centering clarity that they need? And when we are done, I will do one more sweep over, kind of shifting any energy that needs to be a little bit more balanced. And then I'll once again, check their chakras with my pendulum or my hand to make sure that that energy has has now um, a better flow about it. So but there's one thing I'd really like to point out with that. It is my client's responsibility to take ownership of their healing and their well-being and their healing journey. So although I can help lead a horse to water and I can help shift and move the energy within their chakras and their body. It is their responsibility to continue um, some of those things to help promote their wellness. And so I always also suggest homework, right? I will give my clients homework. I will say, you know, it may be something as simple as drinking more water or meditating more regularly or something much bigger than that, like focusing on maybe shadow work or some limiting beliefs that are actually kind of holding these chakras back. Um, so when you do receive a Reiki treatment, if you have not before the purpose again is for healing and you should walk away feeling lighter and more grounded or more centered having more wisdom or a better understanding of what it is that your body is going through and needs be it spiritually mentally emotionally or physically so in a nutshell, that is um, energy work and that is Reiki. And I hope that that explained a lot. It kind of gave you guys maybe an inside uh, behind the scenes view of what it is that I do um, and what actually goes on when I do a distance healing. So this is Reiki. I also do mediumship and many other awesome things. So if this is things that um, are really interesting to you and you're new or you do this or you've you've been doing this for a long time, you know, please like and subscribe. Um, I love seeing your guys' comments and questions. Um, and I have a lot more cool videos like this that I'd like to share with you guys, just giving you some more insight into what it is that I do and what's really out there because there is some amazing healers out there. Um, and not just me. I mean, there's there's so many awesome people out there. Um, and um, I just love to share, um, educate, um, and kind of raise up all of our vibration. And I feel like knowledge is power, right? And so um, this is one of those really cool things where I can kind of share something with you, give you some more knowledge, give you some more power and insight, and hopefully inspire you along your healing journey. So if this is something interesting to you, please stay tuned for more. And as always, I will send you love and light, my my friends.